Hi, Scorpio. I'm Pam, the Lucky Mermaid, psychic, seer, and modern mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for the month of May 2021. Please be sure to watch your rising sign, your moon sign, and your sun sign to get a more clear and complete picture of what's to come for you this month and perhaps beyond as timing will be different for all of you. Remember, some months your rising sign and your moon sign are going to resonate more for you, more than your sun sign will. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign, some months your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from there, so you might want to check that out. This recording is for Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Ascendant, and Scorpio Moon. All that being said, now on to your May 2021 Psychic Tarot reading. And the first card you have, Scorpio, is the Ten of Cups. Look at you shining on there with the Ten of Cups. This is happily ever after. It could be happy emotions, happy family, could indicate a happy marriage or happy relationship, or just all things coming up, roses in your life. If you're single, you're going to be finding your way to somebody new in a new love relationship. Some of you are going to, that are already coupled, are going to be completing something. Could be completing a home renovation or completing buying or selling a home or completing some landscaping project or something. But completing something with your partner comes up for you coupled Scorpios. And there might be things you really want to invest in, whether you're single or coupled, like uh, finding good investments, good investment opportunity. And if you already have a property, uh, upgrading things in your on your property is like that is increasing your the value of your investment in some cases, depending on what you're doing. Some of you that are single and unattached may feel very strongly compelled to want to get in a relationship and may be very driven by getting married in May. You may feel that strongly kick up. And I feel that some of you Scorpios are going to be getting a lot of positive feedback from people. It may be in some work project you did or some kindness you showed, generosity or kindness you showed to somebody um, or, you know, like to some charity or organization that you did, you know, work for free. You, maybe you donated your time or your money, uh, but getting like positive feedback, or positive comments, positive accolades comes up here for you, Scorpios. Some of you are going to find out there's somebody new coming into your life, and if it's not a new love partner, you may find out that you're pregnant, that you and your partner are expecting. It could also be that you hear that news of somebody else in your family, uh, your son, your daughter, your niece, your nephew, your grandchild, uh, you may find out that they are expecting. The other energy that could come in here about somebody new coming in could also be if somebody in your family is uh, getting engaged or if you are getting engaged. So you have a lot of positivity coming up here with many possibilities. And you got to remember, this is a general reading, Scorpio. And to really get, as I said in the beginning of this video, to get a more complete picture, you really should watch your rising sign if you can find it out or if you know it, because sometimes that's going to speak to you more than your sun sign. And any, uh, any money you spend on property is good right now. Like say you want to purchase a property. Because I keep getting property and investments paying off. So whether you're investing money in a property you already have by like upgrading things that could add value to your property or home, you may be investing in 
another property or a property. Maybe you rent an apartment and you're going to buy a home or you already have a home, but you're going to buy another property. So lots of things to do with property and investment are coming up here for you. Now, the next card you have in your reading, you have Wheel of Fortune, and I'm checking my notes to see who else got Wheel of Fortune. And Libra and Gemini also got Wheel of Fortune. And you are the last sign I'm reading, and I do them in order that my guides tell me to do. I don't go by Aries through Pisces when I do the beginning of the month. Whatever signs they tell me to do in the order in which I do them. So you got Libra and Gemini also have the Wheel of Fortune, which is karmic wheels of fate turning in your favor. The planets in the heavens and the spirit guides around you conspiring to give you karmic good fortune. Could also be karmic cycle endings and new karmic cycles beginning for you in May of 2021. Some of you are going to find out that you get hired for some kind of something you applied for. Maybe you applied for it a long time ago, Scorpio. I don't know, but getting hired comes up here for some of you. You know, you may also decide to treat yourself to something because you may feel like all you're doing is working and working and, um, you know, maybe you feel like, okay, I don't really have anything to show for it, like fun or, uh, you know, I'm always p paying bills for other people and for the house and for expenses. So you might decide to treat yourself to something and it could be something expensive in the month of May 2021. Some of you are learning to process information differently. This could be in a work or job situation that you have. Maybe some things have changed and now <clears throat> there <clears throat> there's new protocols or things in place where you are going to be processing information differently or uh, that could be protocols have changed, computer systems could be changed. Uh, but it could be also your mental processing information differently or spirit guidance and spirit channeled information to you. You could now be processing it differently. That has many implications of what that could mean for Scorpio. I hear that you're very resilient and you are going to bounce back from any illness that you've had. So if you got sick with anything, I don't care what it is, I get the words resilience and bouncing back comes up for Scorpio. So if you've been sick with anything, doesn't matter what it is, you may find yourself feeling like back to your old self and getting back to uh, normal comes up here for some of you being resilient with your health. You may receive some kind of notice where you are being put in a position where you may have to sell something or buy somebody else out. So if you have any collaborative investment or like say it's a, an estate and somebody passes away and then if you want to buy the house, you and somebody else own the property, you may have to buy them out so you get the property or there could be something where uh, an apartment is going into, turned into condominiums. And if you want to keep staying there, you will have to buy the place where you're living. But buying somebody out of something, or if you're going through a divorce and you're splitting your assets and one of them is property, you may have to buy someone out or a business that's for sale and there's a partnership and your partner wants to retire or doesn't want to be in the partnership anymore, you may have to buy them out or they'll sell their half of it to someone else. So the next card you have in your reading is the star and this is spiritual blessings. Could be an answered wish or an answered prayer, your spirit guides and the divine source hearing your prayers and wishes and giving you some kind of spiritual blessing. Some of you are going to be very inventive and inventive and creative of something new that's really going to take off. It could be a new business. It could also be something you actually create and you could maybe get the patent for it and it could really take off and make some money for you. I feel that some of you Scorpios have learned a lot from watching somebody else, how they grew or expanded their business or what they've done uh, and 
It could be with their career. It could be with their business. It could be even just things the way they handled things in their life. So I feel you've been inspired by watching somebody else and their success. And you may be adapting or adopting some of their practices to enhance and improve your own life. I feel that some of you are going to receive some kind of contract or sale or sale of agreement. And if you don't see it in May, July comes up strongly. It could really be any time between May and the end of July, but I feel it's really May or July. But it could happen in that time frame. Remember, as I said at the beginning of the reading, timing is different for all of you. Some people will tell me things I said a year ago are happening to them now. And I hear that not only in private emails on, on YouTube comments, I also see it on Vimeo comments as well. Your creativity is really going to start bubbling up and bursting forth and you have all this creative energy. If you write music or create art or are creative in some other capacity, you're going to be like manifesting and, and working on things that will not only give be a good creative outlet for you and like a releasing a steam valve of pressure that's built up in you it's also for some of you will be uh bring in financial blessings for you in the future and something you're going to start doing is going to vamp up and ramp up your energy if you're learning how to do reiki or getting any kind of Reiki or pranic healing or any kind of other healing modalities. I feel it's going, or diets, changing your diet, giving up gluten, sugar, dairy, could be some, or meat, could be some of the things you're doing. Um, whatever you're doing like that is going to be uh, amplifying and revving up your energy in May and beyond. You're going to be investing time, knowledge, and or money into calculations. So if you need to calculate things with facts and figures, you will be doing so in May. Or if you have to pay someone else to do it, could be like an accountant or some kind of business advisor or financial advisor. To get more psychic messages and predictions from my spirit guides, please check the description box below this video for the links for my most recent videos for Vimeo. I look into very specific topics using a variety of divination tools to bring you more accurate predictions for your astrological signs. These links and descriptions are also available on the videos page of my website, www.theluckymermaid.com. Thank you. The next card you have in your reading, Scorpio, is the Knight of Swords. And the other sign that got Knight of Swords was Aquarius. So you and Aquarius got Knight of Swords. And this is an air sign person. A Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, sun, moon, or rising sign. This could be you, Scorpio, if you have a rising sign or a moon sign. That's an air sign. Very possible. Or if you're born on the Libra Scorpio cusp. This could be somebody that could come in and create division or distraction for some of you in May. It could be somebody that you know that is heading towards a path of destruction and you may want to uh, caution them, guide them, or advise them. Remember, whenever the people cards come up, it's going to be multiple Court, whenever court cards, the people cards show up, it's going to bring in a whole bunch of different kinds of messages because how many of you are going to, you're not all going to know this same air sign. They could be even be a taskmaster to you and trying to hold you accountable for something. It could be a boss. It could be a brother. It could be a sibling. It could be a significant other. This could be a challenging person for some of you to deal with in May. You may feel like their expectations or the things they're saying or doing, uh, their expectations of you or whatever they're saying or doing may make you feel like you're in crazy town, like they're driving you nuts. You could feel that way about this air sign in May. 
If it's you, if this is your rising moon sign or cusp sign, you could be driving your own self nuts. <laughs> you may feel challenged by an air sign person in May and you may feel like they are trying to take something away from you. And if that's the case, you're going to be combative with them. For some of you, the Knight of Swords person is creating some kind of drama. They may be like wanting to hold your feet to the fire, make you accountable for something, blame you for something. Uh, that's the energy that seems to be coming from them to you. Some of you, this could even be a retired person that you have to deal with. It could be an aging parent or an aging relative or an aging, I don't know, but or just somebody that got retired and they could be driving you nuts because now they're retired and they're just like, <laughs> they're too much around and getting on your nerves. So you have to see how this Knight of Swords plays out for you and your life because you got a lot of different things to sort through there with that card. So the last card you have in your reading is the Three of Rods. And the other card that got Three of Rods, the other sign that got Three of Rods is Gemini. So both you and Gemini got Three of Rods, which is waiting patiently for success to come in, letting go of something for success to come to you. It could also be being at the beginning stages of some kind of successful venture or endeavor some of you are really ready to travel some of you are really ready to make your mark in the world and some of you are really ready to get out of somewhere some of you are trying to put feelers out there to get a new job or to get some new business or endeavor you're trying to get going you could be advertising it on social media pages um uh, and networking with people in other ways through uh, maybe you have a job and this is like you're trying to get a side business going. And you may be very uh, much like planting your feet firmly on the ground saying, this is my territory. So like uh, if it involves any kind of business where it has to be based on territories you may be very particular about like, okay, like if you're getting involved in a company or a business where you do have to do sales or you have territories, you may be very specific and territorial about where you want to your clients and customer base uh, or audience to come from. And you may have somebody that comes in and kind of galvanizes it for you and puts sets it in stone. So this could be like maybe you're starting a business and you have to make it a corporation or an LLC and you're going through the process or you're hiring a, hiring a lawyer to do it. That's galvanizing something and putting it in stone. Uh, there's other ways that that could be happening as well. You could be talking to somebody at a distance that also wants to help you finance something you want to get going or started. They could be helping you finance it, or they could be just giving you advice of how to finance it. Anything you start now, next year in 2022, you're going to see that business or sideline business really uh, perking along, percolating along and doing quite well. So... You know, sometimes businesses don't rock it off in the beginning, and some do. Some don't, and some do. But I get in 2022, I feel like it's really per percolating along and doing well. Any businesses you start in 2021, especially this month of May. You're going to be quite the advice giver in May. Uh, you may even feel like I've been put on God's green earth to give advice to people because you may have a lot of people that come to you for advice. Maybe that's the kind of career you're in. Maybe you're a lawyer or uh, a public servant of some other type, uh, a cop or a judge or 
um, I don't know, just a really good friend and or relative that people want to come to you for advice. I feel like you're going to feel like you're the advice dispensary in <laughs> in May of 2021. Now, the gemstone crystal I got for you, that's the best for Scorpios in May of 2021, is Unikite. And Unikite, uh, you could use this gemstone to access its benefits by sleeping with it under your pillow, putting it on your crown chakra, your uh, third eye chakra when you meditate, or your throat chakra, or your heart chakra. You could also wear this gemstone to gain its benefits. It's going to really give you a clear sense and clear picture of relationship, of your re, any, in, any new relationships coming in or any relationships you're already in. It's going to help give you clarity when you're dealing with relationships, especially love relationships. It's going to help you, help put you in the right frame of mind to do dutiful work and dealing with facts and figures, which did actually come up where you would be going over facts, some of you going over facts and figures. Um, it's going to help you with that kind of work, like help you to be like stick to uh, be grounded, uh, do things from a pragmatic sense, like taking care of business kind of energy. For any men that feel like their testosterone levels are down or any females, because we have females have both estrogen and testosterone in our bodies. If you feel low on testosterone, male or female, this is going to help somehow uh, invigorate, re-energize, enliven testosterone energy. Also, if you've been having bouts of forgetfulness, this is a good stone for you to like get over that forgetfulness or that brain fog. It's going to help you with mental clarity. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And please like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And if you would like to get any of the special video series I record for my Vimeo on-demand pages, I always post the most recent video series links below this video in the description box in the Show More section. You can also get these links by going to my website, www.theluckymermaid.com. Go to the videos page, and there you will see all the different video series I've recorded, the different divination tools I've used, how long the predictions go out for. And you just click on the sign you want under the video series you want, and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. If you would like to get any of these most recent video series I've recorded, some of the ones down below are my career and finance psychic tarot and crystal readings, which go out for the next 12 to 18 months. That is one of my most requested video series. That link is posted below. My what's lucky and new for you in 2021. Those psychic readings for each sign of the zodiac. That link is also posted below and my Saturn in Aquarius psychic tarot and crystal readings for the next three years, starting in December of 2020 and going out until March of 2023. That link is also below this video. My psychic tarot readings for the new year of 2021 for each sign of the Zodiac, if you hadn't checked that out yet, that link is also posted below, as is my big love psychic tarot and I don't know if I use the crystal in those. My big love psychic tarot readings for 2021 for singles and couples. That link is also posted below. If you would like to get more messages and predictions from my spirit guides channeled through me that you won't see here, you can follow me on my social media pages at The Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook and The Lucky Mermaid underscore on Instagram. I use a variety of divination tools 
I'll give you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides. And it's for whoever feels directed to go look at that page. There's going to be messages and predictions that will probably make sense and resonate with you with the post that I put on there. Now, those predictions are not just for the day I post the card or crystal reading that I put up there. They sometimes go out five months, six months, two weeks, a week. It's not just going to be for that day. So you might want to check that out. If you would like to make a donation to my channel and help support the work that I do here with my psychic readings on YouTube, there's a donation link that I have posted below. All the different video series links I have below, there's a donation link connected to PayPal. I want to thank you so much to all of you who have been very generous and donated to me. I appreciate it greatly and it does help a lot. So thank you so much for that. So I hope you have absolutely marvelous month of May and know that I wish you many blessings and peace. Thank you.